So that was really easy. I thought that was going to be really tough. After watching all those videos, I thought, man, I was dreading that. That was simple. How to take out a shower pan. Well, the first thing you have to do is you have to take off the sheetrock and the tiles or the surround, the shower surround or the bath surround that you have before you can get the pan out. Uh, I have another video on how to take out bathroom shower tiles. If you have a, like a plastic or a fiberglass surround, you can bash that thing or cut it with a sawzall or whatever you like. Uh, most times what they do is they'll, mine was terrible and so it's not a good example, but usually they, they put in screws down here. So you have to look along those. Actually, it looks like there might be a little bit of a nail right there. No, that's just a rock. Um, and make sure there's no nails attached. I'm going to get a shop vac and clean all this up real quick so when I pull it out, it's not an entire mess. But the, uh, the piece of resistance, <laughs> which uh, if it didn't have all this cement and stuff in here, you'd see that this is black. This is your drain pipe right here. This is the actual pipe that's part of your plumbing of your house. This part is the shower pan, and this part right here, it doesn't look like it, but it's super soft. It's a black rubber gasket, and it's pressed in there. So, uh, and you'll see in a bit, this is shooting out of the ground. When you get a new pan, and it has this black gasket in there, and you just push it down on there. So it's like press fit on there. And then my little steel grate went on top of that, right? And so it's, it's a watertight press. The way you get it out is... Well, there's a lot of ways, but the, the main way people do it is just take a screw and a drill bit, and that's what I'm going to do here, and drill it out all the way around, and then try to just yank it out with the pliers. So I'm going to go get a drill and a drill bit, and we're going to start drilling this after I get it cleaned up. So we'll be right back. So I watched a couple of YouTube videos on how other guys did this before making this video and a lot of them are just like this where they're kind of just sitting staring looking at a shower pan telling you what they did or what they didn't do and then coming back and being like look it's done and I didn't see one where some poor schmuck like me just fought with it all the way out and I think the problem is the reason they're not doing that is they're editing it out because it's a big pain in the rear I'm guessing so let's do it together uh, and see what happens. The camera is also on the shower pan. That's a problem when you get a Johnny Hammer truck doing this stuff. I don't have the proper equipment. So this might be loud. It might be shaky. I'll try to do neither. And we're just going to drill a bunch of holes. Oops, wrong way. Uh-oh. First problem already. Never saw that on one of those other pro jobs. Those guys are way better than me. Did I say other pro jobs? Plus my comedic narration. I mean, come on. All right, let's put that on a little bit tighter. Let's make some more holes. The tool I have for today, I think it's going to be the super tool, is the really long nose needle nose. I think that's going to be the... Let's give it a try. Does it move at all? Maybe if I get some leverage, I think that'll, if I stand over here, it might save the lighting. Oh yeah, it's coming right up. 
Well, maybe I drilled in enough holes. Hopefully yours goes like this. Oh, famous last words. Now it's not going to come. I think the long needle nose did the trick there. And drilling in a ton of holes. So that's how you get that part off. Uh, so I think, actually, I think I'm going to try to just flip it towards us. Seems like something over there. Maybe that. check out the hole so that was really easy I thought that was gonna be really tough after watching all those videos I thought man I was dreading that that was simple looks great down there everything looks dry we're rocking and rolling well with uh, couple full-time jobs, four kids, and their activities, etc. I will be uh, cleaning this up and calling it a day in here. It is like April 12th here in Minnesota. Oh yeah, you betcha. Hope to see you around, guys.